Arr, ahoy mateys, welcome back for another episode of Pixel Piracy. So the last time around I stopped off the town and bought another pirate. This time another deckhand to go ahead and get things cleared up. So, uh, of course, Mark is going to go ahead and give us a hand, matey. Now, he's another one of these guys who probably want to go ahead and be a swashbuckler, but... I feel like he may be better off served on deck, just in case. And in case we have borders, at least he'll want to swashbuckle. So, at least we're covered on that, I think. Okay, overall, these guys don't need to be paid. They're all quite contently paid. Morale is rather high. So, I did a little plundering. Okay, this is the last island I was on. I got 662 gold. These guys have cleaning. I think we're okay for the most part. I may go back and buy one more pirate. One more swashbuckling pirate to go ahead and help us fight. Because pirate danger three is going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, two is right there. Now, I know that some out there train their, their crews up. Bacon, in the last episode, had put in the comment section how he likes to keep a small trained group together. Which is a really good idea. For the most part, I would do that, but now I'm trying to expand a little bit quicker. And since this is a, like a normal difficulty, it's not as easy. Oh, hello. So we've got this. So I gotta be very careful how quickly I exp expand it. All oh, these guys are nothing. Look at these guys. These are guys are has-beens. Yeah, and I will upgrade this boat as well, too. It's nice now, but we'll get something a little bit better here shortly. Also, I wanna make sure everybody has swimming. We don't have any accidents. That's it, boys. Go ahead and wreck shop. These guys just totally did him in. Alright, so go up there. Go back. We'll go ahead and plunder this boat. Again, we have no real need for it. Well, elixir, that's it. Yeah, the fun begins at least at level 3 where you get more things and bigger boats and such. Once you get to rank 5, you get huge ships with cannons and such, which are really cool. Plunder you. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of gold. So I do want to go back and get... Some more mateys. Yeah, here we go. Library of Wisdom, where we'll probably buy a few books and such. Get everybody prepped up, they're good to go, and then, yeah. We should be ready to start conquering difficulty level three. Ah, nothing like visiting the old tavern to see what we got. And of course, we don't have much. Okay, so this place is running a little bit low on help. We may have to go ahead and go to another town and get something better, but maybe we can get something. Okay, this guy was an astronaut. Tony was an astronaut? Okay, well, I'm amazed and yet slightly confused maybe he's a time traveler too who knows Lenny was a fishmonger so he may have been a good deckhand oh horse jockey alesman or almsman not alesman he was an almsman anchor smith whatever either or any of these guys should really do and I think that may be it of course that guy will probably die the first hint of battle okay, can I go ahead and sell some of these weapons I'm not using Always a great way to make some money. What do we got? Not a whole lot. Keep that fishing rod. Cutlass, short sword, all this good stuff. Hold on to the spear. And then I think we should be good. There we go. Food and such. How's the books? I think the books still may be out of stock. They restock at a certain point, but I don't know what we got over here just yet. Oh, they restocked. Awesome. Okay, one swimming, two swimming, three swimming. At least we'll all be good on that. Ship plunder I've already gotten. Life buoy, I could give him that instead of swimming, but it's kind of like a one-time use thing, so it's really up to you. I think swimming is better just to have overall instead of going back and just keep buying them, even though they are pretty cheap. Map awareness, we're pretty good. Toilet study, I don't know if it's worth it, but yeah, maybe. And it put us out of range of the rest. Okay, whatever. All right, now that we've gotten that, everybody back to boat. Back to boat, mateys. Well, for this episode, we've certainly done a lot of traveling so far, and we've got weapons, food, items, and ships again. So, plenty of those. I don't know if anything we're going to need is going to be here, but it's always worth a check. Just in case, because you never know, each island's different. We will have to go ahead and find a higher-ranked city to go ahead and get higher-ranked pirates. We're not going to find them back in the original town we started off with, so... Again, they may restock. It may be like a small crew. So, again... Our matey we got, he's just a little bit weak, level one. So we need to start upping our game here a little bit to be prepared. Anything good? Okay, you got pistol, but we cannot do anything with that. Sell the blade. Heck, sell the scimitar, why not? He ain't gonna need it, he's fishing over there. He'll be a fisherman for life. Okay, more of the same, that's fine. I don't know, we may have to keep hopping towns. 
Okay, books, that's nice, but again, nothing we really need yet. Sniper Shot's a great book if you can find it on Pirates. I don't know about buying. Plant, probably should get a plant, because it's morale, I don't know why. And here's all the other stuff we've polluted, basically, so let's just sell all of these. I'm not worried about wood walls and wood decks just yet. Cannon windows, not worried about it. Again, we'll just go ahead and loot our own boat. Alright, time to spruce this thing up. Hold on, guys, you're gonna love your new plant. I guarantee it. Deck deco. Deco deco. There we go. More morale for the gang. Ah, there we go, mateys. While we're at it, have some fish, and then we'll be setting sail again for another town. Alright, let's go ahead and engage these guys. This time we gotta go ahead and start taking some good loot here. Come on, fellas, we board. Oh god, not the whole crew. The crew? No, yeah, well, whatever. They're gonna get wrecked. Someone's getting wrecked. Holy crap. No, we definitely wrecked them. Didn't mean to bring everybody over here, but whatever. Get your butt over back here. Yeah, get every everybody get back over there. Here. I'll handle the looting. Okay, some more books is always good. Map awareness again. But whatever. These urns, anything helpful from them? Treasure hunt, awesome. That'll be a level up. And of course, we... I could probably get this boat now. To be honest, I think this may be a good idea, though. I just paid those guys, so I'm running low on money. But, okay. Yeah, we've gotten roughly six people on a boat. This might have been better, but uh, I need money. Sometimes you just need the monies, honeys. Alright. Where are we at? Okay, so we're stuck in a rock and a hard place. Oh, yeah. Well, that's danger level two. We could go and loot them. I think I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this next encounter. Then check out one of these towns, because these towns could be very good. Maybe Lick, Lick Fork. What a name for a town, Lick Fork. So yeah, let me just go ahead and hit this. Then I'll go hit Lick Fork. And we'll see what they got, because I don't want to engage another level 3 until we're good to go. That was too close the last time we did battle. Oh, hello, Lick Fork. What do we got here? This looks like a bounty board over here. That's awesome. And goods, whatever goods has. So let's go ahead and check this out really quick. Bounty board may have something really good. They're the bounties at this level are probably going to be a little bit challenging. They're generally taking place on an island, and the targets roughly have higher hit points than normal. When it comes to difficulty, pirate invasions or pirate encounters on the ocean are easier than land events because it's just how they scale. Let's see, anything else? No, we do not have any training things here, so okay. We may be up the creek without a paddle to train our buddy. He may have to learn on his own. That's kind of a scary thing. Anything for food? Well, we don't need to worry about food. We need to worry about goods. And let's take a look at this board. Yeah, we have some stuff going on here. Vern Shrandolf for expired plates. Oh, I love it. Bounty paid for proof of demise for expired plates. To each their own, I say. Goods, anything good? Sometimes you can get things here, but I don't see pirate flag. We could do pirate flag. Increase plundered gold. Barrel will be nice. That's a good thing to have. Toilet paper. Never bought it, but three stacks. No morale loss on poop. Awesome. There we go. Spare swords. That's what we need. I'm going to get two of these. Oh, you can only get one. That's but Spare swords is what they use for training. So we'll definitely use that. Hork painting. Chicken nest when we get animals that may be in the future. Picture blood. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Cards. Okay. Anything else we could sell back? Not a whole lot, except for some wood blocks and such, but... Alright, we're good to go! This is awesome, I like where this is heading. Alright, so I've done a little bit of sailing, and then we got... Oh my goodness, Lindemann Taylor looks crazy strong. Yeah, I've done a little bit of sailing, we got some levels up on our characters, actually. Speaking of which, we just got one leveled up. Oh, he's got scurvy, okay, we maybe we can't do this. Somebody with scurvy is not good, but we can get you, Wilson Lescow, leveled up a little bit, so let's do that. Yes, Wilson Lescow is our trainer, or our pirate in training. This could be a very scary thing. I don't know how to handle this. Alright, how many have scurvy? Oh, they all got scurvy. At least almost all of them. Well, that ain't good. And you've got level 2 scurvy. Lethargic and a bit weak. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we gotta go back to town. This is not gonna go, Wood. Oh my goodness, I forgot to check for scurvy. Son of a butt. Alright, we do have to go back to town, so 
We'll go back down before we lose a pirate, and then we'll come back and do this, but we should be pretty good. He's been training, so Wilson should be getting right there. That's awesome. Again, thanks to the practice swords, we should be good to go. And maybe get that encounter back. All right, what's the good thing about having fruit on deck is that way, in case anybody gets scurvy, it's easy to get rid of. I like to stock up on fruit, that's why I went ahead and grabbed a whole bunch of them. Got some other stuff too, but again, it doesn't matter. If you don't reach land, you can't dock and get your boat set up. Again, I think that's kind of silly. I kind of wish they would have left that alone. I think you should be able to do it at sea or wherever. At least drop food so that way they can cook it or eat it or whatever. But again, it is what it is, but 